Hi everybody, I'm Moom and I welcome you all to Moom Das Life Handmade. I love jeans. I wear them, I wear them and wear them till they wear off. That is either they are torn or they fade away so much that they can't be worn. And then also I don't throw them away. I keep all the jeans, all the denim uh, garments that have been stopped used uh, from use in my family and I keep them, I wash them and keep them separately in a bag. I have laid them out, taken the bag out and laid them out on the floor and you can see so much of these material that I have collected over the years. These are now my raw materials. I like to use them. I, in the past, before also I started YouTubing, I did a lot of projects which used recycled jeans or recycled denim. I love them. And today I'm going to share with you three DIYs using these recycled jeans or recycled denims. This kind of fabric is just fabulous. I love the texture. It's a strong fabric and it's as good as canvas. So you can make many kinds of things with them useful as well as very stylish. I love the different shades of indigo that they have. Even when they fade, they have a character of their own. So I'm going to use denim in three ways and show you three DIYs using them. Today I'm participating in a challenge called Craft It Three Ways. Yes, Craft It Three Ways challenge that has been issued by Kat from According to Kat and her co-host for this challenge is Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine. I'll put links to both Kat and Casey's channels in the description box of my video as well as link to the playlist that has been created for more ideas. And if you love to see more of these kind of videos where I take something very ordinary, something that most of us have in their homes and make beautiful and useful DIYs out of them, some decor ideas, everything related to home within budget, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video and do make sure you have hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post my video. I also intend to make a playlist that is full of recycled denim ideas in the coming over coming few months. For this project I have ripped apart a not ripped apart. I actually uh, took the stitches apart and have taken out these two pockets from the same jeans. You can take two different pockets. Basically I took from the same jeans because they match. The sizes, the shapes match and they can be put on top of each other to make a pocket on its own. Now since I have neatly taken the stitch line apart and taken this out so these pieces are already folded inside. So I already have the seam allowance and folded edges. The top side, the open part is already neatly stitched as it was in the jeans. Other than this, another important thing that I need are these hardware stuff, these hooks. These open like this and can attach. Now these I have gathered uh, like whenever now you go to any kind of conferences or any kind of meetings you are given these name tags, i cards and they dangle in this thick uh, printed satin kind of thing and they have this hardware which holds on to the i card. So I tend to save them rather I tend to hoard them. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to snip off till this point so I have some length of this pink uh, ribbon with me. I'm going to take this piece of hardware out. I don't need it. And then I'll use it in my DIYs today. Other than these, I will need a fancy big chunky button. I'll need some embellishments in the form of uh, laces, ribbons, and uh, some beads. Some, I'm taking some tinkling bells, some glasses, whatever you feel like. And I'll be using uh, some stitching so one can hand stitch or machine stitch or you can use a very strong fabric glue also for the project. Now you see I've taken that piece of little hardware clip kind of thing apart. Now I have this pink ribbon and I've brought it to the center. 
now I have these two loops ready to go onto my pocket now I need to close this also so I'll place my button here and I'm using this pom-pom ribbon it's dark deep red and adjusting a little length how much will be required and take this taking a little extra I'm going to snip it apart now taking a piece which will serve as the back po back side of this pocket so I'm taking a one which is more uh, frayed or dull to be the back side and now I'll have to I'm using scissors to open a little bit of stitching here so that I can insert my loops through this I folded it to find the midline and poke a hole through this you see through the folded seam area where I've ripped apart the stitches I'm poking a hole through this now you see I have this pom pom ribbon coming in between the seams and here is my loop I'm going to stitch glue this two together like this and stitch along this line on the top ones and on the bottom ones to secure the loop to this back side of the pocket Now that my back side of the pocket is ready with the loop, I'm going to turn the wrong side facing me. Place these two loops on two ends, a little away from the ends because it will be difficult to stitch otherwise. And now place my front side of the pocket, the front side facing me on top of this with the loops in. Now I shall just stitch these edges so as to uh, complete the pocket. It will be a complete pocket with an opening on this side and these sides will be closed. I'll better machine stitch it. One can even use fabric glue or hand stitch these portions. I'm back from the sewing machine and this is the back side. I've attached the loops here. I turned everything inside out. So these hem pieces on the pocket will have served as the hemline. So after attaching this onto the back side here just below the hemline so it was easy to work with. And now turn the right side out. I'll position my button so here is how the loop comes and just here these are the buttonholes I'll stitch the buttonholes just here at the end of the loop inside like this and then it will be time to embellish just however you bun pleases Now every pocket has a stitch design on it. I'm just going to enhance this by attaching some sequins using fabric glue.
This is beautiful and my daughter loves it. Again, I've taken a scrap piece of denim fabric, a portion from an old uh, jeans. This is part of the from the pocket side. So this is a small piece, and I'm going to uh, fold it once so that I've got two layers. And you can see with the fabric marker, I've drawn a heart shape here. I'm going to cut it out so that I've got two heart shapes here. So two heart shaped denim pieces, I've taken some uh, silver uh, ribbon, some scraps of lace, maybe some ribbons, buttons, whatever you feel like for embellishment and obviously some cotton or some kind of fillers, I'll give you different options for fillers, needle and thread or fabric glue, whatever you find that's suitable. So I already made one here sample. I'll make a similar one to tie up with this. I'm using the same lace here and I'm going to place it like this just to get a little more contrast and stitch it. Now I stitched this lace over my denim heart. You can even use glue in any of the steps that you feel like. So I'm going to trim off this extra here uh, to keep it along the edge. Now I'll take these two pieces, the wrong sides are facing each other so that the neat sides are out and now I want a loop here so in case I want to hang this so I've taken some of this silver ribbon and made a loop and I'm putting it, placing this inside a little, say about half an inch inside this point of the heart. and secure it with a pin. I'm adding more pins here now to keep the two pieces aligned together. Now again one can do all the steps using fabric glue but I like this stitch line showing through. It looks really nice on denim pieces. So I'm going to take a double thread and do a run stitch. That is simple. You just go down and come out and again down and out and so. So I'm going to start from this end, go to this corner, go up, this curve done, this curve done and at this point I'll halt for a while. Then I'll do the stuffing. Now I've come to this point and there is one opening here. Now I can add some stuffings. Now the options can be one can add some lavender for a beautiful uh, aromatic pouch here to be kept inside cabinets or cupboards or anywhere you feel like. Or you can add some rice or any kind of grains like that. And after this is switched off you can pop it into the microwave for heating it up and it can serve as a, a balm or a pocket warmer. Another option is simplest one. One can add some cotton inside and uh, stuff it up a little so that it's nice and soft, hard and then close this end. Now these two are ready. I can further embellish this maybe with sequins, buttons or uh, false flowers. From my heart to yours. We did a variety of projects till now. 
Now let's make some art. Yes, you heard it right. Let's make some art. I have taken a piece of white A4 size paper and cut it to the size which will fit into my 8 by 10 inch picture frame that was lying in my home. And other than this, the raw material again are some scraps of these denim or jeans fabric, leftover scraps from my other projects. And I'm going to cut out kind of rounds, kind of circles, not perfect circles. So I have cut out three such pieces. These are kind of round, not exactly round, but kind of circles. Now let's create art now. I've taken cerulean blue acrylic paint, a fine tip brush and a little water to work with. I'm going to dilute the paint a little and draw. Next, I'm going to glue these pieces. So you can use any kind of glue or fabric glue or PVA glue to glue these pieces flat over this piece of paper. Make sure that you're away from the margin so that it doesn't get inside the frame. This looks silly at this point, but let's go ahead. I've taken a felt tip pen. Now just pop it into a picture frame. This is cool, super cool, summer cool. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have the notification bell on. I will see you very soon with another DIY. Until then, be positive, be creative and stay happy.